Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. It doesn't matter. I can't believe I forgot your birthday. I feel terrible about it. It doesn't matter. Honestly, it's just another day, and we all have our lapses in memory. But you're my best friend, and I should have remembered. I wanted to make your day special. Well, you being here and apologizing means a lot more to me than any gift or birthday celebration. Let's not dwell on it. I still want to make it up to you somehow. How about we plan a belated celebration this weekend? You really don't have to. I promise you, it doesn't matter. Life gets busy, and we all make mistakes. I appreciate your understanding. You're always so forgiving. True friendship isn't about remembering birthdays perfectly. It's about being there for each other through thick and thin. You're right. I'm lucky to have you as a friend. And I'm lucky to have you, too. So let's move past this and focus on all the great memories we're going to create together in the future. Agreed. It doesn't matter when we celebrate, as long as we do it together. It's not important. I can't believe I made such a silly mistake at work today. I'm worried it might affect our project. Take a deep breath. It's not important. We all make mistakes, and it's how we learn and improve. I know, but I feel like I let the team down. Trust me, it's not important in the grand scheme of things. What matters is that we work together to find a solution and keep moving forward. Thanks. I needed to hear that. I tend to be too hard on myself. It happens to the best of us. Remember, we're a team, and we support each other no matter what. You're right. I'll focus on finding a solution and not dwell on this mistake. That's the spirit. And if you ever need help or have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to assist each other. I appreciate your support. Let's work together to make this project a success. Absolutely. Together, we can overcome any obstacle. It's not important as long as we learn and grow from it. Don't let it bother you too much. I can't stop thinking about that comment someone made about my presentation. It's really bothering me. I understand. But you know, sometimes people can be critical without really understanding the effort you put in. Don't let it bother you too much. It's just that I worked so hard on it, and their feedback was so negative. Constructive criticism is valuable, but not all feedback is created equal. Remember, you can. Always learn from the valid points and ignore the rest. I guess you're right. I shouldn't let it get to me. That's the spirit. Your work is appreciated, and one comment doesn't define your abilities. Thanks for being so supportive. It means a lot to me. Anytime. We all have our moments of self-doubt, but don't let them overshadow your accomplishments. I'll try to focus on the positive aspects and use the feedback to improve. That's the way to go. Keep your chin up and remember that your hard work will pay off. Thanks again. Your advice really helps.
All good. Can't complain. Hey, how's everything going in your new job? It's been quite a ride, but all good. Can't complain. The team's great, and I'm learning a lot. That's awesome to hear. Any challenges so far? Well, there's a lot to learn, and sometimes it can get overwhelming, but honestly, I'm enjoying the challenge. That's the spirit. How's your commute? It's not too bad, actually. All good. Can't complain. I've got some podcasts to keep me company. And how's your new apartment? It's cozy, and the neighborhood is nice. All good. Can't complain. Sounds like you're settling in well. Anything I can do to help with the transition? Thanks, but I'm good for now. Really, all good. Can't complain. Well, it's great to see you thriving in your new role and new place. If you ever need anything, just know I'm here. Thanks, that means a lot. But for now, everything's pretty smooth. All good. Can't complain. Where would you go? Hey, if you had the opportunity to travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? That's a tough question. There are so many amazing places I'd love to explore. But if I had to choose one, I think I would go to the beautiful country of Iceland. Iceland sounds like a fantastic choice. What specifically attracts you to that destination? The stunning landscapes of Iceland, with its volcanoes, glaciers, and hot springs, have always fascinated me. I love to witness the northern lights and take a dip in the famous Blue Lagoon. That sounds like an incredible adventure. Any particular activities or sights you'd want to experience while in Iceland? I definitely want to go hiking in the breathtaking Ursmork Valley and explore the unique ice caves. Also, a road trip along the Ring Road, visiting the waterfalls, black sand beaches, and geothermal areas would be a dream come true. I can imagine the amazing photo opportunities. Is there any other destination on your travel wish list? Absolutely. I have a long list, but one place that stands out is the ancient city of Petra in Jordan. The intricately carved rock architecture and the history behind it is truly fascinating. Petra is on my list too. It must be an incredible sight to behold. Well, I hope you get to visit Iceland and Petra soon. Thank you. The world is full of wonders, and I hope we both get to explore these amazing destinations someday. Expressing Gratitude Hey, I just wanted to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to you. Oh, really? What's this all about? Well, I wanted to let you know how much I appreciate your support and encouragement during a difficult time in my life. Your kind words and listening it meant the world to me. I'm truly humbled. I'm glad I could be there for you. You're an amazing person, and I believe in you. Your belief in me gave me the strength to keep going. When I felt like giving up, your unwavering support reminded me that I'm not alone in this journey. I'm grateful to have been able to make a difference in your life. It's truly fulfilling to see you grow and overcome challenges. Your generosity extends beyond words. You've shown me the true meaning of friendship, and I'm forever thankful for that. I'm touched by your kind words. It's an honor to be a part of your life, and I'll always be here for you, no matter what. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your presence and the impact you've had on my life are invaluable. 
I'm blessed to have you as a friend. The feeling is mutual. Let's continue supporting and uplifting each other, creating more beautiful memories together. Vacation plans. Hey, I was thinking about our upcoming vacation. Have you made any plans yet? Not yet, but I'm really excited to start planning. Any ideas on where we should go? Well, I've been dreaming of a beach getaway. How about a tropical destination with crystal clear waters and sandy beaches? That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to visit a tropical paradise. Any specific location in mind? I've heard great things about Bali. It's known for its stunning beaches, lush landscapes, and vibrant culture. What do you think? Bali sounds perfect. I've seen breathtaking photos of the temples and rice terraces there. It would be an unforgettable experience. Agreed. We can relax on the beaches, explore the traditional markets, and even try some surfing or snorkeling. It'll be the perfect mix of adventure and relaxation. Absolutely. Let's start looking for flights and accommodations. We should also create an itinerary to make sure we don't miss out on any must-visit spots. Sounds like a plan. We can also reach out to friends or search for travel guides to get recommendations on the best places to eat and things to do in Bali. Great idea. It's always good to have insider tips. I can't wait to escape to paradise and create wonderful memories together. Me neither. This vacation is going to be epic. Let's make it the trip of a lifetime. Networking event. Hi there, I'm John. It's great to meet you. Tell me about yourself. Hello, nice to meet you too. I'm Lily. I have a background in marketing and currently work as a brand strategist for a digital marketing agency. I love helping businesses develop their brand identities and create impactful marketing campaigns. Outside of work, I'm passionate about volunteering for local community organizations and engaging in social causes that make a positive impact. That's impressive. What motivated you to get involved in volunteering and social causes? Thank you. I've always believed in the power of giving back and making a difference in the community. Volunteering allows me to contribute my skills and time to causes I care about. It's incredibly fulfilling to see the positive impact we can make when we come together as a community. That's truly inspiring. What other interests or hobbies do you have? Apart from work and volunteering, I'm an avid reader and love exploring different genres of literature. Reading provides me with new perspectives and expands my knowledge. I also enjoy practicing yoga and meditation to maintain a healthy mind and body balance. That's wonderful. Your dedication to both professional and personal growth is admirable. It's been great getting to know you. Let's exchange contact information and stay connected. I believe there could be some exciting opportunities for collaboration in the future. Thank you. I feel the same way. Let's definitely stay in touch and explore potential collaborations. It's been a pleasure meeting you at this networking event. Here's my business card. Looking forward to connecting further. Likewise, thank you for sharing about yourself. Let's continue making valuable connections and enjoy the rest of the event. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this. Hey, 
Welcome to our new home. Thanks for coming to our housewarming party. Thank you for inviting us. Your place looks amazing. The decorations are lovely, and everything is so well put together. Oh, I'm glad you like it. We spent a lot of time making it feel cozy and inviting. Please make yourself at home and enjoy the party. Absolutely. By the way, congratulations on your new home. It's such a milestone. How does it feel to finally settle in? Thank you. It feels incredible. It's been a whirl in getting everything set up, but now that we're here, it's like a dream come true. We're excited to create new memories and host gatherings like this. That's wonderful to hear. I can already picture the many gatherings and good times ahead. I'm sure your house will become the go-to spot for friends and family. We hope so. We wanted to create a warm and welcoming space for everyone. Thank you for being a part of our celebration today. It's my pleasure. Cheers to your new home and to many happy moments to come. Discussing future plans. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do Hey, I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. What are your plans for the coming years? Oh, the future can be both exciting and uncertain. I'm Samantha, by the way. Nice to meet you. As for my plans, I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in business administration. Nice to meet you too, Samantha. That's a great plan. An MBA can open up a lot of opportunities. Have you decided on any particular specialization? Thank you. I'm leaning towards focusing on marketing. I've always been fascinated by consumer behavior and brand management. That's fantastic. With your passion for marketing, I'm sure you'll excel in that field. As for me, I'm contemplating a career change. I've been working in finance for a while, but I'm considering transitioning into sustainable development. Wow, that sounds like a meaningful and fulfilling career path. The world definitely needs more people working towards sustainable solutions. What steps are you taking to make that transition? I've been taking online courses and attending sustainability conferences to gain more knowledge and network with professionals in the field. I'm also considering volunteering or interning at organizations focused on sustainability. That's a smart approach, taking proactive steps towards your goal. I'm sure you'll make a positive impact in the field. It's inspiring to see people pursuing their passions and making a difference. Thank you, Samantha. It means a lot to hear that. I believe it's important to align our careers with our values. I wish you the best of luck with your MBA and future endeavors. Likewise, it was great talking to you. Best of luck with your career change and your pursuit of sustainability. Let's stay in touch and support each other's journeys. Absolutely, Samantha. Let's definitely stay connected. Thank you for the encouragement. Have a wonderful day and may all your future plans come to fruition. Do you have any desserts available? Hello, how can I help you? Do you have any desserts available? Absolutely. We have a delectable assortment of desserts to satisfy your sweet tooth. Our options range from classic favorites to indulgent creations. May I recommend a few? Yes, please. What would you suggest? One of our popular desserts is the Molten Chocolate Lover Cake. It's a warm, rich chocolate cake with a gooey center, served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. We also have a creamy New York-style cheesecake with a choice of raspberry or caramel drizzle. And for a lighter option, we offer a refreshing mixed berry parfait with layers of fresh berries and whipped cream. Oh, those all sound delicious. I think I'll go with the molten chocolate lava cake. Excellent choice. Our lava cake is a crowd pleaser. Would you like any additional toppings or sauces with it? I'll have a scoop of chocolate ganache on top, please. Noted. 
I'll make sure your dessert is prepared to perfection. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Your molten chocolate lover cake will be served shortly. Enjoy your dessert. Thank you so much. I can't wait to indulge in it. What's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Hey, what's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Oh, that's a tough question. I've been fortunate to visit many breathtaking places, but if I had to pick one, I would say Santorini in Greece. Santorini is known for its stunning views. What made it the most beautiful place for you? The iconic whitewashed buildings perched on cliffs overlooking. The deep blue Aegean Sea created a picturesque landscape that was unlike anything I had ever seen before. The sunsets were absolutely mesmerizing. It sounds absolutely magical. Did you have any memorable experiences in Santorini? Absolutely. Exploring the charming villages like Oya and Fira, tasting delicious Greek cuisine, and relaxing on the unique black sand beaches were all incredible experiences. The warmth and hospitality of the locals made it even more special. I can only imagine how wonderful it must have been. Are there any other destinations that come close to Santorini in terms of beauty? Yes, another place that left me in awe was the Plitvis Lakes National Park in Croatia. The cascading waterfalls, crystal clear lakes, and lush greenery created a natural paradise that felt like stepping into a fairy tale. That sounds like a hidden gem. I'll definitely add it to my travel list. Thanks for sharing your experiences. You're welcome. The world is full of incredible beauty, and exploring these places is a reminder of how diverse and awe-inspiring our planet is. Happy travels! YOLO Hey, what's up? Not much, just thinking about what to do this weekend. YOLO, you know. Oh yeah, totally. Life's too short to waste it doing boring stuff. Exactly. I was thinking of going skydiving or bungee jumping. You wanna come with? Whoa, whoa, that's some serious YOLO stuff. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Come on, you only live once. It'll be a once in a lifetime experience. I know, I know. But I'm not sure if I have the guts to do it. That's okay. YOLO means different things to different people. Maybe we can do something else that's just as fun. Like what? How about we go on a road trip or try out that new restaurant downtown? Okay, that sounds more my speed. YOLO doesn't have to mean doing something crazy. Exactly. It just means living life to the fullest. So, you in? I'm in, let's make this weekend one to remember. YOLO! Dope! Hey, did you hear the new album from the artist we like? Yeah, I did. It's so dope. I've been listening to it on repeat all week. Same here. I can't get enough of it. Every track is just so good. I know, right. They really killed it this time. I'm gonna try to catch their concert next month. That would be so dope. Let me know if you're gonna get tickets. I'll come with you. For sure. We gotta see them live. Speaking of which, have you seen that new movie that just came out? Not yet, but I heard it's really dope. Have you seen it? 
Yeah, I did. It was so good. The plot twists were crazy. That's what I heard. I'm gonna have to check it out this weekend. You totally should. It's one of the dopest movies I've seen in a while. All right, you convinced me. Let's go see it together. Sounds like a plan. We'll grab some popcorn and have a dope time. Perfect. I'm already looking forward to it. You always know the dopest things to do. Gunna. Hey, what are you gonna do this weekend? I'm gonna go to the beach. It's been hot lately, and I need to cool off. That sounds awesome. I wish I could go too, but I have to work. Bummer. I feel you though. Gotta make that paper. Yeah, exactly. But speaking of which, have you finished that project we were working on? Not yet. But I'm gonna finish it tonight. I've been slacking off a bit. No worries. Just make sure you get it done on time. I don't want to have to cover for you again. I hear you. I'm gonna make it my top priority tonight. Good. I know you can do it. You always come through in the end. Thanks, fam. I appreciate the support. Speaking of coming through. Did you hear about that party next weekend? No. What party? It's gonna be lit. I'm gonna invite you, and we're gonna have a blast. Sounds like fun. I'm down. Let's make sure we don't have to work that night, though. No worries. I'm gonna make sure I'm free. We're gonna have a great time. You'll see. I have no doubt about that. You always know how to have a good time. Throw shade. Hey, have you talked to our friend John lately? Not really. They kind of threw shade at me the last time we hung out. Really? What happened? We were talking about our jobs, and John said something like, "Oh, I didn't know you were still working there. It felt like they were implying that my job wasn't important or something." That's not cool. I hate it when people throw shade like that. Yeah, me too. It really made me feel some type of way. You should talk to John about it. Maybe they didn't mean it the way it came out. Maybe, but I'm not sure I want to. I don't want to start drama. I understand, but it's important to communicate how you feel. Otherwise, it might happen again, and you'll just keep feeling hurt. You're right. I should talk to John about it. Thanks for the advice. No problem. We gotta look out for each other and not let anyone throw shade on our vibes. Absolutely. I'm glad I can count on you to keep it real with me. Of course. That's what friends are for. Chill. Hey, what's up? Not much. Just chillin'. How about you? 
Same here. Just taking it easy today. That's the way to be. Life can be so stressful sometimes. I know, right? Sometimes you just gotta take a step back and chill. For sure. Speaking of chillin', have you tried that new coffee shop on 5th Street? No, I haven't. Is it any good? It's hella chill. They have this couch in the back, where you can just hang out and relax. That sounds perfect. I could use a good cup of coffee and some chill time. Let's go check it out this afternoon. I hear they have some really cool drinks too. Sounds like a plan. I'm always down for some chill vibes. Me too, fam. Life's too short to stress out all the time. Let's go chillax and enjoy the moment. I couldn't agree more. Let's go get our chill on. Computer problems. Hi, Jason. Sorry to bother you. I have a question for you. Okay, what's up? I've been having a problem with my computer. I know you're an engineer, so I thought you might be able to help me. I see. What's the problem? I have a file that I can't open for some reason. What type of file is it? It's a Word document I've been working on. I need to finish it by tomorrow. Were you able to open it before, on the computer you're using now? Yes, I was working on it last night and everything was fine, but this morning I couldn't open the file. Do you think your computer might have a virus? No, I checked and there weren't any. I'm not sure what's wrong. If it's possible, email the file to me and I'll see if I can get it to open. Okay, I'll do that when I get home. Are you going to be around tonight? Yeah, I'll be home after 8 p.m. Send it to me when you get a chance and I'll call you later. Nervous about surgery. Hi Jim. You look upset, what's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just a little nervous. Is everything alright? Well, I'm having surgery tomorrow on my finger. What's wrong with your finger? I broke it the other day playing basketball. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it's been bothering me since that day.
Are you afraid of having surgery? Yes. I've never had surgery before. I wouldn't worry. I had to have surgery on my leg last year. Everything went fine. Were you nervous before the surgery? A little. Who's your doctor? Dr. Allen. Oh, I've heard he's really good. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Good. That makes me feel much better. Work at a software company. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Josh. It's been a long time. Where are you working now? I work at a software company downtown. I'm an engineer. That's interesting. What kind of software do you write? It's a database for small businesses. Does your company have a website? Yes. What's the website address? http://www.abc.com. How can I get the software? You can download it from the website. It's very popular and it's free. Okay, I'll do that. I have to go now. It was really nice seeing you again. It was nice seeing you too. Email me next week and we'll get together for coffee. My computer is broken so I can't send an email right now. Can I call you? Sure, my number is 12345678910. Are you free tomorrow? Hello? Hi. Are you still up? Yes. You sound tired, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I'm just getting ready to go to bed. It's been a really long day. Do you have time to get some coffee with me later? I've something I want to talk to you about. No, sorry. Not today. I have to get up early tomorrow.
Oh, what are you going to do tomorrow? My mother-in-law is coming over so I have to get up early and clean the house. I see. Are you free tomorrow? Yes, in the afternoon. I have to finish something I'm working on, but I'll be free after 3.30. Do you want to get together after you finish work? Do you think you'll have time? Yeah, my mother-in-law will be leaving here around 2 p.m. Holiday Hi, I'm thinking about booking a holiday for next month. Can you recommend any destinations? Sure, do you have a specific type of holiday in mind? Are you looking for a beach holiday, a city break, or something more adventurous? I was thinking of a beach holiday. Some place with clear blue water and plenty of sun. In that case, I'd suggest checking out the Caribbean or the Maldives. Both destinations have stunning beaches and warm weather. That sounds perfect. Do you have any specific resorts you recommend in either of those destinations? For the Caribbean, I recommend the Sandals Resort in Jamaica. It's an all-inclusive resort with several beautiful beaches and a wide range of activities. That sounds great. And what about the Maldives? For the Maldives, I'd suggest the Sun Eva Fusher Resort. It's a luxury resort on a private island and is known for its crystal clear waters and abundant marine life. Perfect. Can you book me a two-week stay at the Sandals Resort in Jamaica? Of course. I'll take care of it for you. Let me just check the availability. I have allergies. Patrick, why didn't you call me last night? I was worried about you. Sorry, I was sick. I went to bed early. What's wrong? I had a cough and my eyes were really dry. Are you better now? Yes. I'm feeling a lot better. Much better than yesterday. Do you have allergies? Yes. The last time I went to the doctor, he did some tests and told me I have allergies. It gets worse in the spring. What time did you wake up this morning? 
around 9.30 a.m. Are you going to work today? No. I think I'll just stay home and watch TV. I can work from home today. Good. Get some rest and I'll bring over some food later. Thanks. Hello? Hi, John, sorry for calling so late, I hope I didn't wake you up. Actually, I was just finishing some work. I haven't gone to bed yet. Did you hear Bill got fired yesterday? No. I didn't hear that. Are you sure? Yeah, Sarah told me this afternoon. She was pretty upset about it. That's too bad. Bill's a nice guy. Yeah, I know. Why did they fire him? She didn't say. I see. Well, if you talk to Sarah again, tell her there's a job opening at my company. Bill can have an interview this week if he wants. Oh, thank you so much. I'll call her and tell her. Is there a problem? Hey, I just talked to Jim. What did he say? He said he had to cancel the meeting this afternoon. Oh, I see. Is there a problem? No, it's not a big deal. He and I were supposed to talk to some new customers today. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. This has been happening quite a bit recently. That's strange. I wonder why. His wife has been sick, so sometimes he has to go home early to take care of her. I see. How's work been going? Things are slow right now. Would you mind if I borrow your phone? Mine's out of batteries. And I have to call my boss to tell him about this. Okay, let me go get it. It's in the car. Animals
Hey, have you ever been to the zoo? Yeah, I have been to the zoo a few times. I love animals and observing their behavior. Me too. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the elephant. They are intelligent, social, and gentle creatures. I agree, elephants are amazing. I also love dolphins. Did you know they have a complex social structure and can even form close bonds with each other? Yes, that's right. Dolphins are truly fascinating creatures. I also heard that they have a unique way of communicating through a series of clicks and whistles. Exactly. They are known to be one of the most intelligent animals on the planet. Have you ever seen a cheetah in action? No, I haven't. But I have read that they are the fastest land animals and can run up to speeds of 60 miles per hour. That's correct. They are truly remarkable animals. I couldn't agree more. Animals are truly a wonder of nature. I'm so grateful that we have zoos where we can learn about and observe these fascinating creatures. Sending a package. Hello, how may I help you? I'd like to send this package to California. Would you like to send it overnight or by regular mail? How much is it to send it overnight? $20. And by regular mail? $12. I'd like it to get there tomorrow. Please fill out this form. When you're finished, Come back to this window. Okay, I think I'm done, is this correct? Yes, that's right. I also want to send this letter. Do you need to buy stamps? Yes. A book of stamps costs $3. So that'll be $23 for everything. Oh, I forgot my wallet in the car. I'll be right back. Doctor's visit. Hello Mrs. Wilson. Hi doctor. How do you feel? I don't feel good. What's bothering you? I have a stomach ache and a headache. Where does it hurt? Do you have a fever? No, I don't think so. Let me look at your throat. Open your mouth. Your throat's red. Does it hurt? Yes. It's sore. When did it start to feel this way? Last week. I think you have a virus. It might be the flu. I'm going to give you a prescription for some medicine.
Thank you. Try to get some rest, and be sure to drink lots of water and orange juice. I changed my mind. Kevin, what would you like to do? I don't know. Maybe watch TV. That's a good idea. We're going shopping later so I think you should rest for a while. I don't think I want to go anymore. What do you mean? I thought you said we were going shopping. I know, but I changed my mind. I'm too tired. Well, I still have a lot of stuff to buy. When do you think we'll go? Maybe tonight. Okay, would you mind if I use your phone? Sorry, I don't have a signal. Are you kidding? I usually have really good reception here. My phone is very old and it doesn't work very well. What if I take it outside? Yes, that's fine. It works well outside. Making a hotel reservation. Hello, Marriott Hotel, how may I help you? Hi. I'd like to make a reservation. Just a moment. Okay, for what date? July 25th. How many nights will you be staying? Two nights. What's the room rate? $75 a night plus tax. Would you like me to reserve a room for you? Yes, please. Your name? Nancy Anderson. Guy Anderson, how will you be paying? Visa. Card number, please. 273949091234. Expiration date. Expiration date? Smart ways to improve your speaking skills.
Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The news if it's some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The news if it's some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my videos. Please, subscribe to learn more English with my channel.